Asbestos is found in several materials due to its strength, flexibility, and resistance to chemical and thermal breakdown. This puts several trades at risk of exposure, but the construction trades are affected the most. What up Workforce, I'm Destry with JJ Safety, and today we're talking about asbestos in construction. Now I'm going to try to explain this to you as best as I can. Exposure can happen during maintenance, remodeling, renovation, or demolition of older buildings. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, thousands of construction workers have died from diseases caused by asbestos exposure, and 10,000 people are expected to die each year for the next 10 years because of past exposures. Wait a minute, what? Asbestos diseases can sometimes take 20 years or more to show up after exposure. Here are some of the common materials that may contain asbestos. Roofing felt, shingles, and patch material. Vinyl floor tile and linoleum backing, pipe and boiler insulation, fireproofing, spray-on decorative acoustical ceiling material, putties, caulking, cement, and other mastics. All right, now let's talk about some of those diseases, like asbestosis. Asbestosis is scarring of the lung tissue and lowers its ability to transfer oxygen and carbon dioxide. Mesothelioma. This type of cancer is exclusively related to asbestos. It attacks the lungs and may take 30 to 40 years to develop. Lung cancer. Ah, nothing like a malignant tumor in the lungs to brighten the day. The time between exposure to asbestos and the occurrence of lung cancer can take 20 to 30 years. If you're in a hurry though, cigarette smokers have the home stretch advantage. Let's talk about exposure routes. The main route of exposure happens through inhalation of airborne asbestos fibers. This happens when asbestos is disturbed through breaking, drilling, cutting, sawing, or sanding. And don't eat, drink, or smoke in areas containing asbestos. The permissible exposure limit. The PEL for asbestos is 0.1 fiber per cubic centimeter of air as an 8 hour time awaited average TWA with an excursion limit EL of 1.0 asbestos fibers per cubic centimeter over a 30 minute period. <sighs> anyway, your employer must ensure that you are not exposed to the limits above the PEL. <sighs> Safety precautions. Let's talk about what you can do to stay safe around asbestos. If you discover asbestos containing materials on the job, Alert your supervisor. Asbestos removal should only be performed by qualified personnel. If that's you, here are some reminders. Wear the appropriate personal protective clothing. Thoroughly spray down the material before you start the removal and regularly during the work. Use non-powered hand tools as these generate smaller amounts of dust. Pull out any nails first to help remove sheeting with minimal breakage. Minimize cutting or breaking of the asbestos cement products. Remove and dispose of personal protective equipment after exposure. Shower and wash your hair immediately afterward, and regardless of whether gloves were used, thoroughly clean your hands and fingernails to remove any dust and asbestos particles. Okay, so here's what we know. Asbestos exposure has long-term health risks, and the number of related deaths is staggering. The best way to protect yourself from exposure is to avoid areas where asbestos is likely to be found. Asbestos removals should only be performed by qualified personnel. Always follow your company's policies and procedures. For more information, visit us online at jjsafetyllc.com or call us at 866-627-3850.